Today I'm going to talk about what exactly is a proxy. For those of you who don't know, you may upload something and you will see this thing right next to your videos, maybe images, and you're wondering, what is a proxy? Is that a virus? Is that something bad? Should I worry about it? <laughs> no, there's no need to worry. Essentially, a proxy is a way for your computer to perform the best way that it can while letting you edit the video. So for example, if I were to put this on the timeline, it will look like the video. It will play like the video. I could, I could click on the video. I could change the speed, right? I could edit the video just like how I would with any video. Now, the difference with a proxy is simply when you upload something that is a big file, it'll make this proxy, aka a lower quote unquote tiered version of the video, uh, of the file. And the reason it does this is so that when you're editing, it can be smooth. You won't have to worry about it slowing down. You wouldn't have to worry about it um, taking up most of your RAM. The proxy is simply a way for you to edit faster without having the entire file uh, on, on your um, editing space. So let's say for example, this was, you know, this was a 4K video. If I were to put a, if I was working with multiple 4K videos on this timeline, naturally it's going to slow down, right? It's gonna slow down even more if I add different animations, different speeds, I add tracking, I add adjustments, um, and I start layering everything and making it a more complicated uh, composition. So what happens is when we add a proxy, it doesn't directly put all of that information on the timeline. It just gives us the basics. So it may not look like the most polished version when you're editing everything, but when you export it, it will then remove the proxy and export it with the original file. So you don't have to worry about it losing quality. You don't have to worry if it's going to mess up your editing. Um, process. The proxy is there so you could work faster. So if you want to increase your workflow, make sure you put proxy on, especially if you're doing longer form content or you're just doing a lot of editing.